Hello, welcome to this kit. This week's kit to be looked at is the uh, F16C from uh, Hobby Boss. I don't know who's originally did it, but I think this may be theirs. Um, I'll show you why later on. There's the, there's the lid anyway, that's what it looks like on the shelf. A bit of uh, local language there. Um, inside, you, with Hobby Boss, you get quite individually packed sprues which says uh, good and bad things the environmentalists won't like it but uh, keeps the individual sprues from rubbing against each other there's a additional uh, tail uh, like an upgrade from the original kit I think so that's included nicely recessed panel lines and everything the uh, cockpit canopy it's got in two sprues, but they're uh, in a nice little bag to keep them fresh and clean and from being rubbed. Don't go off with any the plastic. They've got three other thousand years to degrade a bit. Uh, very simple but effective. I don't open the bags. They're uh, clear enough, I think, as they are. And there's so many bags to open, so I won't bother with that. But there's detail in the uh, wheel wells. Nice little arrestor hook bit detail there. It'll, uh, there we see. For when they have to uh, catch the wire coming back. There's some extra detail there. And uh, you get the fuel tanks for wings, pylons. Um, yeah, sort of things you expect. There, wheel, wheel struts there, I think. Little details on the wheels. Actually fully detailed kit. And you get a nice separate top side of the uh, whole top side of the top fuselage on the wings and the end pylons. And I'll show you why I think they made it themselves because quite uh, common to when I had a typhoon. Uh, Eurofighter Typhoon kit, you got these large connector plug things in the sp in the uh, fuselage sprue. Yeah, and we've got the corresponding parts here inside the top. So it's very much a uh, test of fit sort of arrangement. So no trouble with uh, alignment there, instead of having on the edge like you would just uh, some kits in the old days, or not at all. Got nice solid uh, located pins in there. Nice recessed panel lines and there's some detail on there as well. I thought I'll show up a minute. Been focusing enough. Sorry for the glare from the bag, but I don't want to open the bag because it's too much. Well, it's sort of too much trouble, but. Effectively, that's where it is, I will be honest. I don't want to be into wind bags all the time and we'll put them back up again. And we'll be building this kit for a few years. Again, like the F104 I showed you last week, you've got the uh, type of arrangement for the legs, and this time they're built in to the uh, undercarriage bulkhead sort of area. And there's other struts going to it as well. You've got a uh, Two place, two piece, and a one piece cockpit area. So it'll be the same screw for uh, the B version of the F16, which is a two seater. And likewise, you probably got uh, options of exhausts, uh, tailpipes for the same reason. That's the original tail, which I think is a, is a different version, probably for the uh, E model. Unlike the uh, the uh, Rebel version uh, of this and this kit here, this part here, you see that you've got the uh, static discharge probes there on the side. I think that's what they're called. See on that extra part there. Whereas on the original sprue, you don't see there's a little pewter tube there, but oh, actually, there are one or two little things there, little, so I'm wrong there. A little closer look. You see there are little static things there. But there aren't any on the tail. 
like this. There it is on the travel kit. Then on the tail, so I'll have to put some some uh, bit of plastic to add those myself, I think, or whatever I want to use instead. The decals are well. You get a nice painted uh, map to uh, show the decal scheme. Okay, either of it as the Tulsa Vipers, Oklahoma. Excuse me, it might be my nose. I don't want to blow my nose. Yet. And I've got the Aggressor Squadron from WA. I'm not sure what that is. It could be Washington, it could be the White Sands area or something. I don't know. I'm not up to speed with my air bases codes. I know what Lake and East is. And, but uh, other than that, I'm not sure. And uh, you see the decals you got there. It's not blue. It's uh, dark grey, it's supposed to be. But it comes out looking a bit blue, but it's just dark grey on the actual aircraft. Now we've got the, these decals here, but I won't open them again because I'm not going to use these decals as good as they are. You can see that a little bit under the paper there, and that's kept, kept fresh and from being scratched. Um, I'll use this in another kit, perhaps. But the ones I want to use are the aftermarket uh, decals I bought. These. It's the uh, 50th anniversary decals for the US Air Force because I saw that that scheme on F-16. Maybe this aircraft depicted uh, on these aftermarket decals uh, at RF Fairford Tattoo uh, back in 1997 it must have been. So uh, I got a photograph of that somewhere. So you also got the Aviano eagle there as well these are by astra decals so they seem pretty good condition as well so good uh, detail on that don't they so uh yeah plenty of stencil detail as well so that's what i'll be doing for this kit making it up i forget how that done as the uh anniversary us air force livery which i'm looking forward to doing when the time comes. There we are. That's the journey longer. That's the uh, Hobby Boss kit. Should you be thinking of buying it? It's uh, decent quality. I think it's good enough for uh, most modelers. It's not pretending to be anything it isn't. We've got the uh, detail on the side of the nozzle, but you're going to need internal detail on the nozzle, which you can get it for aftermarket though. The intake goes in, but uh, only so far. But again, you're not going to really worry about it once it's built. I'll say you've got two seats, but it's only a single seater, so this is probably a common sprue for the B model as well. Anyway, waffled enough. Eight minutes is long enough to watch somebody talking about something they've got. So, uh, cheerio for now. <laughs>